I have a lot of skills and I have a lot of talent and I have years of training and mm -hmm. experience. How can I show that to you on just a piece of paper? I mean, I have my stunt reel that I share with all of them and I think that's good work. Hi and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about our lives, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Robert Bennett on the show today. And Robert Bennett, you are a stunt performer. Yes. Um, we're going to talk about your history, how you got into this, what your purpose, and what do you want to do with uh, stunt performing. Uh, it's an honor to be here. That's Thank great. you, Kelly. That's it's a glad. pleasure to be here. I never really thought that I would get into stunt performing as I got older. Now, how did you start? Where, where did you start? Gymnastics or? Uh, so I got started through parkour. So parkour, parkour and free running is, I started doing that probably 12 years ago now. Uh, I was 20, I was 20 when I first saw it and I was so intrigued with gymnastics all growing up. I loved it. I cried as a kid because I wouldn't be able to meet or marry these gymnast gymnasts that I was watching on TV in the Olympics. <laughs> That's probably one of my best memories. Um, you really cried. Yeah, I really cried. I was like, <laughs> oh, Dominic Mociano, she's the most beautiful person in the world. <laughs> and I think it was just, I was so enthralled with the skills of gymnastics. Right. Just the amount of control people had over their bodies yes. blew my mind. Because uh -huh. I remember jumping on a trampoline as a kid and like, you are cool if you can do a backflip, right? Yeah. That's the ultimate pinnacle in life is to be able to do flips on a trampoline. And having done that as a kid, I, I was never in gymnastics except for like one month right. when I was younger. Um, and so while seeing gymnastics, just it always stuck with me as this is cool. And this is, you have control, your control of your body and just control of in the air yeah. blew my mind. It didn't make any sense that yeah. people could do that. You're, you're overstepping the bounds of physics. So you found that parkour was similar? Yes, exactly. Uh, I feel like it required, you didn't have to start as a child to be good at parkour. And what I liked about parkour, it, it broke outside the rules of, of gymnastics of this regimented training that you have to do. You didn't have to go to a place and pay for an instructor, instructor to teach you, okay, this is step one, this is step two. In parkour, you can see what you like and just start doing it. Oh. And you can do it anywhere. You don't have to pay to go somewhere. You can go outside your house, you can go in the street, jump over this rail, jump over this picnic table, and you're learning techniques as you do it. And the amount of creativity that I've seen people use with it is fantastic. In gymnastics, wow. you can only do certain things. Yeah. And you're getting, you're getting scored on those things. Or if I go outside, I want to express my creativity, I can do that however I please and still breaking the laws of physics. In I, I actually had never heard of parkour until my husband, because uh, he, he did parkour for, oh. he needs to get back in, Where right? Is he? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, for people who don't know a lot about it, explain parkour really quick. Okay, so parkour is essentially, it comes from an obstacle course type feel. Okay. So you're trying to get from point A to point B, some start to finish, as efficiently as possible. So the fastest way there, but also the smartest and is sometimes the safest way. Okay. So... Well, safest is walking, but that's not efficient. Uh -huh. if you, you can go up and over things and through them rather than the slow way around to get it. Uh -huh. So you're using different techniques that are going up objects, down from objects, over them, around them, through them, whatever it is. And there's these different techniques that have been developed to do so. So it's a form of freedom and expression. And then there's free running, which is I'm taking a given environment and flipping and tricking and spinning for creative purposes, so. So tell me about your teaching and how you ended up being a teacher. Okay, yeah, so I, as soon as I saw it, I knew that I wanted to do it. Uh huh. Um, having loved gymnastics, this was the perfect place for me to get into it. Um, I started learning and learning a lot and in this smaller, so I was living in Utah at the time and it was new and nobody knew it in that area. So as I started learning it, um, you naturally I was, started teaching it. I naturally started teaching everybody around me because I wanted more people around me ah, to do the nice. same thing that I really loved. Uh -huh. So I started forming groups. I formed all these different groups in Utah and then I eventually started talking to people 
and they thought it was cool and that, that I could teach at their at their gym. And so. now you're teaching it. So now I teach stunts. You teach stunts, but it, but but it kind of all flows in together. Yeah, it all flew it all flowed in together cuz I randomly met these two guys at a park who were also doing parkour and I went there to do parkour and we became best friends. And they were martial artists and they wanted to get into stunts because they worshiped Jackie Chan all growing up. <laughs> And it was just a natural, perfect um, segue and transition to where I was going in life. So now so. you're here in Atlanta and you have a purpose of what you want to do with, with stunt performing. And tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So I, I knew that as soon as I started doing stunts, it was something I loved and mm -hmm. I wanted to pursue it. And I worked a lot in Utah because it's not a huge film market. And so I was getting contacted by local TV stations. Um, a lot of YouTube creators in the area were, were talking to us parkour groups um, to do stuff for their channels. But it was really cool because uh, YouTube was a great segue into applying a lot of the stunts and stunt um, and parkour. And that learning I had how to f and figuring out how to use the camera with right, that. Right, exactly. But what was cool is these YouTubers were sponsored, they were having sponsored videos from Nickelodeon, uh, Epic Games, Warner Brothers, uh, Sony, Canon, all these big companies were coming to these big YouTubers in Utah and saying, hey, we want a video. So I got firsthand experience working with top companies and YouTubers doing stunts and parkour. Now, when I, if, if coming to Atlanta, I'm like, do I tell people that? Yeah. Because the people here, they're like, oh, we work on Disney. We work on Marvel. We work on all these big things. And I'm like, well, I've had a lot of experience too and with big companies. But, but you is still... YouTube on the same level? And it's a weird thing yeah. to talk about. And I'm really having a hard time learning where that fits in and well, if and, that's and it's hard when work. you come into a community that's the community and that's the community that's developed. So you have to almost start all over and you know, build people's trust. And it's like that whenever you go from, you know, from one place. If I right. move to LA, nobody knows, people know me here in Atlanta. Nobody knows me in LA. Right. I have to build, I have to, you know, I have to put myself out mm -hmm. there and you go from being kindergarten level again, except for now you yeah. do have experience that you can show faster. Yeah, I have a lot of experience to show. Right. Um, but on the resumes that you submit to yeah. stunt coordinators for work, it says film, TV, commercial. And uh -huh. I'm like, where does YouTube yeah. content stand in there? Because well, I, was I have a top the same dog. problem because I came from stage. So oh, I have right. a lot of experience, but it doesn't show on my, yeah, you know, and I started coaching right after that. So, you know, like, yeah, I have the experience to coach and, and whatever. But if, if you go on, go on my resume, it's not going to show up there because mm -hmm. it's, it's a different. It's so yeah. different. But, and I think that's one thing that's difficult that I'm finding difficult to portray and to show to these, these people that are hiring for, for stunts, these stunt coordinators for all these big productions here is I have a lot of skills and I have a lot of talent and I have years of training and mm -hmm. experience. How can I show that to you on just a piece of paper? I mean, I have my stunt reel that I share with all of them and I think that's good work. Yeah. But I think it's, it's sometimes it's difficult to translate that. Yeah. But I think people need to know that. The good thing is is that, you know, once you've learned how to build in one area, you can figure out how to build in, in another area. Yeah. So you've just moved from one, you know, you've moved, for, you've mastered this and now you're here mm -hmm. and you're growing in that. And not only are you growing in that, but you're going to take people with you. Yeah. Stunt performers are very valued. And if they've, you know, so tell me about your mission in that. Yeah. So having worked for seven years in Utah before I moved to Atlanta, um, I realized that there was me and my small group of friends who were training consistently because we knew this is what we wanted to do. We knew we wanted to become stunt performers. And our name got around quick. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people found out who we were and we were working a lot. Mm -hmm. We were working on all the independent features and whenever there were big SAG productions or big productions, TV or film coming through, a lot of times we actually didn't quite get to get on them. And that was frustrating because we knew we were talented. We're talking to our friends who are in LA, who are, who are in New York, and they're saying, wow, you guys are really talented. 
if you came here, you'd get work.、Uh-huh. And so we're thinking, okay, you know, we're at least at this level that we can start working on、right. these big productions. But whenever big productions come to Utah, they think there's zero talent there uh-huh, because uh-huh. it's not one of these main hubs. Right. And so they bring all their own people. And even though we submit to be on it, they don't know who we are, and they think we're just locals. And so it was very difficult to get any big time work, even though we were skilled performers. Yeah. So that was that's what was difficult.、Uh-huh. And、um, you know, there's film happening all over the world, all over the United States, but sometimes. It is difficult to trust people you don't know、mm-hmm. in these different states or、mm-hmm. cities that aren't close to where you know are these talented、uh, people in film. But don't you think that we're like we're in such a great time? Like anybody can really do anything and create anything. The thing is, like in our minds, we have this mindset that we have to be here. Like we're like we have to be in Marvel. We have to be in, but、yeah. we have so many. YouTube,、uh, you know, you can go on TikTok and build your own. <laughs> I mean, we have so many platforms where we can take our skills and build within that. We can make our own movies. Yes, it's <laughs> cra- it's just it's just crazy, and it's getting a team together to be able to to do that. So you want to、uh, you want to be at,、uh, you want to be of service to more people and just to build and create more. Yeah, and no matter where you're at in the United States, you can work and you can you can get work. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to be in these big hubs to be working consistently. Right.、Um, and it, and in our but in our minds we think we do. We do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's why everybody moves to these places. Yeah. And that's what's difficult.、Um, I don't know about difficult, but that's just the interesting thing that it is. Yeah. Today. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just stuck in our in our minds. So if you were to give、um, some advice,、um, I love that you went through your history because I think a lot of us can relate to that, and it shows that one piece of the puzzle leads to another piece of pu- piece、mm-hmm. of the puzzle. We don't end up here, you know. It takes ten years, twenty years, thirty years.、Yeah. I have students. I'm an acting coach. I have students that start off and they think that they're going to be signed with an agent within six months、oh, and they're、right. going to be,、uh, you know, a major star. And it just doesn't work that way. You just did your history.、Um, some some advice to give to somebody starting off、uh, where you were when back in Utah. Like,、mm-hmm. would you tell people to take your steps? I I would tell them to. Do a lot of the same steps. Yeah. And to me, I think some of the most important steps, no matter where you're at, is to get to know as many people as possible. Yes. Get to know people in your industry.、Uh, I spent time learning who stunt people were out in LA. Yeah. And then I learned who stunt people were out in New York and Atlanta. And who you wanted to connect with. Yeah, exactly. And to me, I didn't have to move to one specific spot. Right. I just knew the most people here in Atlanta. Right. And so to me. I was. I thought, okay, if I want to not just move to a place and start at step one, if I already know people, then I already have people to meet, right? And people I can go and talk to and network with、yeah. already, rather than move somewhere, okay, and start from the very bottom because that's difficult. Yeah, yeah. Because、yeah. having worked a lot and then move to a new place where I'm not working、yeah. that much, it's you, you, it's yeah, demoralizing you sometimes. Well, you just graced our audience, and our audience will get to know you if they want to reach out to you, if they want to get involved in your classes. What do they do? So I teach a falling for film class at ATL Stunt. You specialize in actually falling. Yeah,、love、falling,、it. falling from a standing position. Okay, nice.、Um, I love it. And so I teach there. You can look them up on any social media or Google it. Uh huh.、Um, and I I have Instagram.、Um, what's your What's your I need to remember that. <laughs> All right, just look up his name. Yeah,、<laughs> um, I'm excited to learn more about you. My husband recently got to work with you, so yeah, you know, I、fun. think we're we're all going to bond a, a wonderful relationship that's going to grow, and and we're all going to do all the things in life we want to do. We're all going to do it. Put it out there. I love it. <laughs> I can I can end with that. That's perfect. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. We hope this segment educates and inspires you.